So now that we've talked about pepper spray and how to use it, we're going to be going over the laws and regulations pertaining to its use on a state-by-state -state basis. Pepper spray is actually legal in all 50 states, but there are certain areas where states have restrictions on usage by civilians. As you can see in all the green areas in the U.S. are actually, there's no restrictions whatsoever. All the tan areas are where there are some restrictions on pepper spray. Some states have general restrictions on who can and cannot carry pepper spray based on their status. Every state in the U.S. requires that you be at least 18 years of age in order to purchase or possess pepper spray. If you're 16, however, you can get written consent from an adult or guardian in order to have it. Some states actually make it to where if you're a felon, you can't have pepper spray at all. Same as with anyone who's convicted of an assault, which are a couple states that do that. And also people who have a documented narcotics addiction or addiction to drugs. In other states, if you use pepper spray to commit a crime, then that can actually lead to a felony charge. Now, as you can see from this list, there's actually quite a number of states that have restrictions based on either size or uh, shipping requirements. A lot of states actually restrict based on size, distance of the spray. Some states actually prevent you from having camouflaged pepper spray products as well as having tear gas or CS or CN in them. We're not going to go through this entire list, but we will go over the big states where there are the most restrictions or restrictions that you need to look out for the most. Starting with Hawaii, you can purchase pepper spray if you're at least 18 years of age. There's a half ounce size restriction on sprays, meaning that you can only have about a keychain size pepper spray. There's also licensing requirements. You'd have to have a permit in order to purchase or carry it. Now the other thing with Hawaii is that there's a shipping restrictions on that state as well. Since it's outside the continental U.S., a lot of a lot of sellers are prevented from actually delivering spray there due to federal regulations on shipments for gas compounds. Can't be shipped through air. If you're going to buy pepper spray, you're going to have to buy it in the state of Hawaii and not online. Massachusetts. Pepper spray cannot be sold online or through mail order. It can only be purchased through an in-state licensed firearms dealer or a licensed pharmacist. Massachusetts is one of two states in the nation that has this requirement of actually forcing you to buy it in-state. Animal repellent sprays can be purchased online. It used to be that a FOID card or a firearms identification card was required in order to purchase or possess pepper spray because Massachusetts had actually classified pepper spray as ammunition which is pretty ridiculous. Thankfully that's no longer the case. Now you can purchase and have pepper spray without having to worry about any of that. Michigan pepper spray must not be more than 10 percent OC concentration. Can't be bigger than 35 grams or 1.2 ounces. Uh, that includes OC, uh, tear gas, which you can only have CS, you can't have CN, and uh, combined inert ingredients. So, again, you're looking at a very small pepper spray for self-defense. UV dyes or ultraviolet dyes are not allowed. A lot of pepper sprays, especially the keychain models, actually have ultraviolet dyes in them, which uh, help, help the police determine your attacker or help identify your attacker later on. Animal repellent is legal in the state. In New York, New York is the other state besides Massachusetts that has limitations on where pepper spray can be purchased. Sales require both a seller's license from the merchant and a completion of a registration form. You can only purchase in state from licensed firearms dealers or licensed pharmacists. You can't purchase through mail order or online at all. No more than two sprays may be sold at any one time to a single purchaser. 
Animal repellents can be purchased online. They're the only pepper spray products that you can get outside of the state. Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. Miners cannot purchase pepper spray. The max legal net weight for a canister is 2.5 ounces or 70 grams. This is including OCCS or tear gas CS and CN. Uh, CR is not legal for civilian use. CR, all that is, is just another type of tear gas that the military uses. So that's actually not available in sprays on the public marketplace at all, so you don't have to worry about that. A warning label must be affixed to the canister for it to be for legal use. And lastly, if purchased in the state in Washington, D.C., it must be registered with the Metropolitan Police Department. If you purchase it online and have it shipped to Washington DC you don't have to register it which is really really weird but uh, that's how it is so Wisconsin lastly this is probably the most restrictive state in the country in terms of pepper spray restrictions it's, they don't allow you to have tear gas at all no CS no CN OC products can only have a maximum OC concentration of 10 percent and a weight range for OC or capsicum and inert ingredients of 15 to 60 grams. That's half ounce spray or keychain spray up to a two ounce, which is a small canister. Product cannot be camouflaged. So if you're looking to have like a pepper spray ring or a pepper gun or a pepper spray bracelet, can't have any of that. It's got to be a regular canister that even your criminal or assailant can distinguish. The other thing is that it does require a safety mechanism to prevent accidental discharge which just about every pepper spray on the market actually provides that. Units may not have an effective range of over 20 feet. No two ounce spray will spray 20 feet or more. The smaller the unit is the less effective range it has. And also lastly for this it must have an effective range of up to six feet. Very few sprays on the market spray less than six feet. In addition, there are certain labeling and packaging requirements. Cannot be sold to anyone under 18 years of age. A phone number of the manufacturer has to be on the label and all units must be sold in sealed tamper-proof packages. So you can't be sold a spray just by itself. It has to be an actual package and sealed. Those are all the states with the legal restrictions. Now, in discussing all of this, I'm just going to say I'm not a lawyer. I can't advise you on any legal advice. All of the information that I provided, I dug up from state-regulated websites and whatnot. All that information is public information. Laws do change all the time, however, so it's best to check with local law enforcement agencies if you have any questions or if you're confused on anything. So definitely do that if you have any issues or concerns. But that's pretty much all for this segment.